Blood Ritual, a standalone story set in Theodrath, prequel to Shadow Dance, written by C.K. Anderson, narrated by Brandon Francis and Samantha Norbury. Chapter 1. Present Day. The darkness of night sweeps its veil over the star-strewn canopy of the firmament, and frost on the grass sparkles like diamonds in the moonlight. A breeze that blows through the village swirls around the houses with dancing snowflakes in tow, bringing the aroma of fresh blood to Lysander's nose and tickling his senses. The still face of the human is beautiful, painted pale under the twinkling eyes of the sky. Sanguine fluid decorates her neck like a wet necklace. She had not resisted, Seduced by his penetrating gaze and enticing telepathic voice, she wandered into his arms of her own accord. If there is one thing he has learnt during his time as a creature of the night, it is that humans are easily influenced. When a heart echoes with whispers of longing and loneliness, it will soak up compliments and praise like paper embraced by water. Lysander's thirst for blood has been quelled temporarily, and he wipes his mouth with a handkerchief he pulls from a pocket. The body slides out of his arms as he lets go of it, landing softly with a muffled sound in the powder snow by his boots. He does not worry about covering her. Instead, he pulls his coat tighter around himself and adjusts the monocle over his right eye. The blood feast should sustain him for a couple of days, which suits him just fine. The main goal right now is to track down a certain mystic before he continues his long journey towards the Whispering Valley. There is no time to waste, and every minute stretching into the next hour is one too many. He must reach his destination before the month draws to a close and the powerful storms of winter sweep across the land. He brushes away snowflakes from the back of his neck. His long, raven-black hair, which he keeps in a ponytail, shaved at the sides and undercut at the back, often allows the whims of nature to sneak under his collar. He does not feel direct cold from the weather, but the moisture makes him uncomfortable, and he prefers to stay dry. He directs his steps towards the inn, the act of consuming a human's life through their blood warms him from within, its seductive heat dancing beneath his skin and causing his lips to shift into a pleasant smile. The dinner was delicious, and with its exquisite flavor, a good mood settles within him. <laughs>